Hello, my name is Trey. Welcome to What Can I Change? Today we're going to talk about work husbands. <laughs> I think Killer K made a very interesting video, so let's get into it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to. They, they talking about promoting me and stuff, so, <laughs> you know, I'm already making enough money, you know, but I mean, I'd be a fool to, you know, turn down some money. I seen you was crying earlier. You straight? You straight? Long story short, I confront him, mm -hmm. and now he... Oh, why why are you going through my phone? Why is you asking my homeboys what I'm doing? Why is you trying to find out what I'm doing? I already told you what I'm doing. That's a shame. Like, I'm not like that. I'm different. First started working here, I said you should have been fucking with me. Now now look at you. He playing in your face. You just gonna let him play in your face like that? See, if you if you was mine, I wouldn't I wouldn't be I wouldn't do that to you. You just got your hair done. I did. And you should have paid for it. I would have. Did he pay for it? No. See, he's slacking. He's not on his job for real. I'm on both jobs. I'm on this job, I'm trying to be on the job with you. If I was management, I, I give you all the PTO you want, all the days off you want. That's crazy. I, if, if it was me, I wouldn't I wouldn't be treating you like that. I'm different. Bro. I'm different for real. I, but matter of fact, don't even come in to work no more. If you come in late or something, I'ma just I'ma punch in for you. He got you stressed on the job. I wouldn't I wouldn't have you stressed on the job. But that's just me. Go to the parking deck real quick. First of all, <laughs> I wanna go back for just a quick second. Yeah, he playing in your face. You just gonna let him play in your face like that? See, if you if you was mine, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't do that to you. You just got your hair done. I did, and you should have paid for it. You should get your hair done. I did, and you should have paid for it. Oh my gosh, this takes me back, guys. I have stories after stories after stories of working with these kind of women. Um, that tell you you should. I remember I told you. I think I told you a story before, but I remember one time. Did you keep the camera on me? I mean, come on now. Uh. I remember one time I was talking to a um, girl and she was okay looking. I mean, she, she only looked good because she had a better body than most of the women there. You know, a lot of people are fat like myself. So I'm walking inside and you know what she says to me? She says, hey, Trey. I'm like, yeah. She's like, can you give me, she didn't say, can you give me? She said, give me $5. And I'm like, give you $5? For what? She said, because I'm pretty. Guys, y'all got to be careful with these kind of women, okay? Okay? I know this is a comedian, but, you know, there's always some truth to some comedy. When you get women like this, guys, who say stuff like, oh, I just got my hair done and you should have paid for it, the guys, they are not really that interested into you. They're not really interested in you. Maybe they may take you on a date. Maybe you may end up dating them, but you're going to end up spending more money. They're going to get with you for that fact. And that's fine. I'm not I really against a woman who wants a man with money. That's fine. But both of you are working at Walmart. In this case, both of you old guys are working in Walmart. There ain't a whole lot of money to go around. Now, some women, let's be honest, some women aren't that expensive. Some women are fine with just getting their nails done, their hair done, and everything else can just come with it. They don't really need nice dinners, nice cars. They just want something. And then you got women who are definitely more than that. They want nice cars. They want you to pay their rent. There's differences. All I'm saying is that if you're going to get into this, if you really want to give it to a woman who is a gold digger, as men like to say, man, if a girl just wants money from you, or let's say this, if a girl wants to get with you, but you have to provide for her, I think that's fine. But you have to be ready for that, man. You cannot get into a relationship with a woman like this and then think, oh, well, you know what? I'm just going to get with this woman. And if she starts asking for money, I'm going to start questioning her. You're going to be like, well, dang, I pay all the bills. I do all that. That was the point of the relationship. You already knew going in that she was that kind of woman, that she wanted you to provide dang near everything. And you shouldn't get in there and then get upset when that happens and be like, oh, she was a gold digger and all like that. But like, you literally just made it seem like you were OK. As y'all saw in this video, he said, oh, I would have paid for it. Did he pay for it? Exactly. So if you get into a relationship like this, you need to be OK with this. Now, remember, this video is about work husbands. So we're getting to that part of it now. I wouldn't I wouldn't have you stressed on the job, but that's just me. Go to the parking deck real quick. Just come to the parking deck real quick. I told you I was gonna call you, check up on you. Just come down here real quick. Long enough? You picked the farthest one. What you uh, mean? Damn, I got something for you. Why you give me these? Cause it's your birthday. I know your man's talking about. You know he he acting like he forgot his queen's birthday. Oh. Couldn't even bring you no flowers. Like he a bum. Like why would he do that? I don't want to hear that right now. Like come on now. Oh, thank you. You welcome. Thank you. Uh huh. You didn't have to do this. You know that, right? Your friend gave it to you. Let him wonder, cause he be, he bullshitting. He be like, you wonder. 
Shout out to Nessie Niles, as y'all know. This is the uh, this is actually that freestyle I was talking about in the other video if y'all cared. Anyway, <laughs> so let's go back to that ending there. Now this is supposed to represent a work husband who has a a work husband who has a work wife who has a boyfriend. Men, this work husband thing is ridiculous. I would never in my life have a girlfriend that says she has a work husband, right? I never had a girlfriend or a, obviously I'm married, but if my wife came home and said she has a work husband, we about to have a discussion. My wife gets jealous of me and I don't even talk to any women, right? I'm to myself every day. I don't text nobody, right? Even if I have friends, I don't text them. You know what I mean? But my wife gets jealous. And man, I get jealous too. I'm, I'm, je I'm not going to sit here and lie. I'm territorial, baby. I don't like my woman being showed off to nobody. So if she was to come home and say, I have a work husband, or if we even joked around like that, I'd be like, we, well, we about to have a discussion. But I don't find that cool. I don't find that funny. I don't find like that's something you should ever do because it's such a dangerous precedent. Let's get serious on this one. It really does set a dangerous precedent. And you know why I say that is because when I was just probably about, excuse me, guys, just drank some water. About four years ago, sorry, excuse me. I hate that I burnt, but you know, it is what it is. Four years ago, I was talking to an individual whose wife cheated on him, right? And how did it start? How do you think it started? She started talking to a guy at work, became the work husband. They started flirting and then flirting with the flirting to hugging, hugging went from, you know, to whatever these young people do today. She wasn't young. She was in her 40s when this happened. But nonetheless, you know, they start getting to that. The next thing you know, they slip up one day, kiss each other. Then one day they invite each other over, you know, say, hey, why don't you just come over by my house? We can just watch a movie and chill, relax. And where did that go to? Sex. <laughs> we know where it goes, baby. Okay. That's why you can't do this stuff. I've never had a work wife. You know what I mean? I've never had a work girlfriend. I don't, I, don't, I, may, I may have flirted with women who were single, but I never flirted with women who had boyfriends. That's something I always drew the line at because I knew if I did that, I couldn't get mad if I ever got cheated on, right? Because I was doing the same thing. So I made sure never to go after a girl who had boyfriends. Now, she was single. She not talking about, I would always ask a girl this. I remember one time, and I'm not even going to lie to you. So this is going to be a funny story. So y'all remember, I was a supervisor at one point in my life. I, I was a supervisor over a young man who was very nice. He's very cool. But he was dating somebody else when I was his supervisor. So obviously, I had no idea that they broke up or anything like that. So I ended up going to become a salesman at another location. So I was a salesman, and I started talking to this girl. And I was trying to get a date with her, you know, trying to get a date. You know, that's who I am, baby. If I like you, I'm going to let everybody know. You know, I have a really embarrassing moment as well, but that's a story for another day. Anyway, so I asked this girl out on a date and she tells me, yeah, you know, maybe we can, maybe we can't. Right. In her mind, she was never going to date me, which is fine. I found out that she had a boyfriend. And you know who her boyfriend was? The same guy I used to be a supervisor over. I had no idea. Because I, I, I'm not going to ask you out if you don't have a boy, you know, if you have a boyfriend. She didn't even mention that to me, which makes her a terrible person. Actually, we found out later that she was not a good person. But nonetheless, I always normally ask a woman, do you have a boyfriend? Or I imply it. You know, I'm not going to ask you out or that. It's just crazy that sometimes some of these women will try to be slick. And they'll take the flirting. You can't let that happen, men. Have some respect for yourself. Don't get dragged along. If a woman's got a boyfriend, move along. I don't need, y'all can't be doing what this guy was doing in this video. You can't be doing the whole, oh, he a bum. He this, he that. Oh, I would have treated you much better. Don't be doing all that. That's corny. That's real corny. Respect the person's relationship. Because this, if a woman's willing to cheat on you like that, I guarantee you she's going to cheat on you, brother. She's going to find another man who's going to be saying the same thing. And could you be mad at that man? And I know what some men think. Oh, you know what, man? You just got to treat her right. If you treat her like a queen, she ain't going to want to go nowhere. Lie. A woman who's going to cheat, baby, is a woman who's going to cheat. It don't matter how good you treat them. If they can get it double, if they can get the same treatment from you and get it from another man, if they can get lunch and dinner, they're going to do it. 
That's how some women are. They don't care. Some of them are, have trauma and some of them are just bad people. So in my opinion, guys, if you want to be a work husband, don't be stupid. It ain't going to work out. Just go get a girl who's single. And if you also want to get with the girl who says stuff like, I want to get my hair done. You should have paid for it. Just if you want to be with a woman like that, I am not against that. I don't think those are gold diggers. That's my opinion. If a woman is getting with you and she's also treating you right, don't get me wrong. She's also treating you right. But at the same time, she perfect, she expects you to provide and you decided to take that role, then take it. I'm cool with that. As long as that's the agreement, as long as I provide, you stay loyal. We good. OK, one slip up, you're gone. You know, just as long as that's talked about, don't ever call a woman a gold digger when you met her at the club. Anyway, I'm gone.